Oh no. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Did you think you had a chance here? That is right, baby. Reading the card explains the card. You come into the house of Malone with your mono black deck and don't even read the cards? Meet me at the spaghetti camp today at Maloney's Pizzeria. There is only weaklings left, weaklings right, trying to beat the master of mono black with mono black. <laughs> and what happened? They did not read the card and then they were sad. Sad. Mamma mia. Mamma. Mamma mia. Che buono. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. Yes, I'm wearing my uh, jumpsuit. I just realized that after I was done with yesterday's recordings video, that this is the jumpsuit I'm wearing because all of the crimes I was committing in the Demir video. If you haven't seen that, hey, check it out. It's on my channel. And uh, yeah, um, today we're playing something beautiful. I wanted to build a mono green deck, but mono green just misses one thing. A board wipe against Boros. So that is why I went from mono green to Golgari, but before we get into that, we're still on our way to 30k. So if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button, become part of the Maloniacs. I would appreciate it very darn freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Desert Storm hammering. We're playing kind of a very amazing Golgari mid-range deck that is just out of control real freaking quick. So. Uh, we have some classics like Cutdown, Bit of Triumph, Path of Peril, uh, Tranquil Frillback for these graveyard decks because there is a lot of these land deck. Armored Scrap George, also graveyard, but also commits a crime. Uh, I will talk about this like one or two more times. If you don't know what a crime is, as soon as you target something your opponent owns, your opponent itself, or something in their graveyard, it is a crime. And there are some cards that, uh, you know, want you to commit crimes, so we're absolutely alright with that. So, we have the Armored Grab George, you exile something from the graveyard for making a mana, you commit a crime. So, and let's talk about this card real quick, because it's the only crime card. Um, whenever you commit a crime, you look at the top 5 cards of your library, put a land from among them on a battlefield tab, and the rest on the bottom of your library. Uh, only once each turn. But, like, I don't know, if you commit a crime during their turn, and during your turn, that is already two lands that you're ramping. Absolutely freaking amazing. So, now let's get into the new cards. I, I don't even know where to start. Well, let's talk about the Smuggler Surprise last, because we first want to know all the creatures. The card I like the most in this deck, which is absolutely insane, is the Gold Vein Hydra. It's Vigilance, Trample, Haste. It always uh, is one smaller than what you pay, is as X green, so that means if you pay 5 for this, you get a 4-4 four, four with three Vigilance, Trample and Haste, which is pretty darn good. Uh, especially as a finisher. And when it dies, you create as many tap treasures at its power was. So if this is a 5-5, five, five, you get 5 treasures, which is pretty good. If you block their Shadward with a 5-5, five, five, now you get even 5 treasures for your turn, which is absolutely freaking amazing. Breeze Rider, we talked about this. The Rattle Worm. This creature is absolutely busted. If you want to play green decks, play this creature. It is insane. Even if it's just like this, a Golgari or whatever, you know, play this creature. It has flash as long as you control a desert. And we do have deserts. And with the free strider lookout, we will have even easier ways to get deserts. But we have the conducting pylons, the festering gulch. So yeah, we do have freaking deserts. And having a 4-4-6-5 with flash and trample, it's almost like pseudo freaking haste. You can flash this in, block with it, pretty darn good. And when it dies, you can for two exile from your graveyard, search your library for a desert or a land. Oh no, it's just for a desert. Okay, yeah, I forgot. So you have to search for a desert. Uh, but you can still do that. Instant speed. So yeah, just, uh, you know, find yourself a desert. The next rattle worm comes in with flash. Pretty darn freaking good. One of the best creatures. Also, this also must a uh, must craft, in my opinion. Railway Brawler. Reach Trample. 5-5 five, five, with plot 4. How plot works, you pay the 4, later on you can play this for free. 
Uh, not during the turn you plotted it, but during another turn. Uh, only as a sorcery, of course, otherwise it would be absolutely broken. Uh, even if you plot an instant, you can only play it as a sorcery. Why am I saying this? Because there is cards that let you plot other cards. Like, for example, Fibblebib or the new Jace lets you plot a card. But even if that is an instant, you can still only play it as a sorcery. So, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X11 counters on it, where X is its power. That means if you have this down and you play a Goldvein Hydra for 5, now it will be a 10-10, well, for X equals 5. Now it will be a 10-10 with Haste, Trample and Vigilance. And when it dies, it makes you 10 treasures. Because it enters with the counters and then it will double the counters. Absolutely freaking insane. Our top end is two Vault Born Tyrants. When this or another creature with power 4 greater, which is almost all of our good creatures, you know, we have the Hydra will be big, uh, fr uh, the Gold uh, Rattleworm will be big, the Railway Brawler, so yeah. Uh, when this or another creature with power 4 greater enters, you gain 3 life and draw a card. When it dies, you make a token of it, um, if it's not a token, of course, so you don't get infinite of these. But if it dies, if it's not a token, you make a token, that's a copy. Except it's an artifact in addition to its other type, so it cannot even be destroyed by, uh, you know, the um, destroyed target non-artifact creature. Kind of crazy, but you know, I don't know why it has to be an artifact, but it is what it is. Just doesn't even matter. But when it enters, as a token, still gives you three life and a card. Pretty darn freaking good. And if you play this after the Railway Brawler, now you have a 12-12 Trample. Pretty darn freaking good indeed. Um, Badlands Revival, I wouldn't to put two in this because we have the bit of triumph, you know, if they destroy our creatures, we can just do this. Return a creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield and one to your hand from the graveyard, which is pretty darn freaking good. So you can, for example, return a Vaultborn Tyrant that they just destroyed, you know, because it doesn't exile when you make the token. So, they destroy it, you return it with this to the battlefield, now you draw two cards. Gain 6 life because the other one sees this and you return like a gold vein hydra that they just destroyed. Play this afterwards. Pretty darn good to get in with the haste. Love to see it. Love to see it. So, now let's talk about the Smuggler's Surprise. This has three modes. Um, there was a question how if you use this, if you cast this with, a, um, for example, a fight rigging, you still have to pay the spree costs. If you foretell this, or uh, like, um, I don't know, what's the word again, I forgot already. If you plot this, um, you still have to pay the freaking spree cost. So you, only the card, the part that will be free is the green. But the rest for the modes for the spree, you still have to pay. So what are the modes? Well, let's talk about the last one first. Creatures control power for greater gain, hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. So you can protect something from a wandering emperor, for example. <coughs> Pretty darn good from a removal spell. Of course, there is still Sunfall, but yeah, tough luck with that. Um, the first mode, you mill four cards and then you return either two creatures, two lands, or a creature and a land from the milled cards to your hand. And for six mana, well, for a green and a four and another green, you may put two creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. This is an instant. So if they attack you and you have two Vaultborn Tyrants in hand, you put them both for six mana on the battlefield. You gain six life, draw two cards for each of them. So that means you draw four cards and you gain 12 life for six mana and two six sixes that you can now block with. One of them costs seven. This is six. So that is absolutely crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy. Just insane. Just absolutely freaking lutely insane. So yeah, do it. A Restless Cottage, by the way, let's put it here so you can see it. This also targets something in your opponent's graveyard. So that is a crime that you can use with the lookout. So just so you know. Jose, you the same. You target something of theirs. It's a crime. Enjoy. Uh, the Gulch also is a crime. So yeah, the fast ring look, a freeze rider lookout is absolutely nice. I like it. It's a very nice RAM card. If you play this on turn four, for example, with a fast ring Gulch, you will already be on five lands, which is pretty darn cool. If you play this on turn 3, while having an Armored Scrap, George, now you, uh, you know, exile something from the graveyard during their turn, you get a land, you will be on turn on 4 to 5 lands on turn 4 already, play a Railway Brawler, you don't have to plot it, you can just play it, you know, if you don't want to, but if you plot this, for example, on turn 4, and then on turn 5 you play the Gold Vein Hydra, you will have a 8-8 Trample Haste with Vigilance, which is pretty darn good. 
So, enjoy this deck. It was super fun. I really, really liked it a freaking lot. This is Desert Storm. And yes, there is a reference somewhere in there. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those Badland games. Rob and Zigzil. Mm-mm. <gasps> Grimus. Yes, Grimus. All right, I will keep this because of the Flash, George. That is the only reason I want to keep this. Pepperoni pizza? Sadly, no. There is no pepperoni on this. It's just salami, ham, and I put some uh, chicken on it because I had to put something on so we had enough to uh, order. So my problem with this is that... um, <gasps> Tiny points? Tiny... I don't know why I always say tiny points. So... We're up against a crimer? Are you... Are you here? Here we go, my friend. Here we go. <laughs> They're targeting themselves? What? Okay. Well, you do that, my friend. You go ahead and do that. Yo, Ardus, thank you for the follow. Um. They don't have to target themselves. I don't know why they just did that. Don't they freaking read cards? Is reading cards really a thing that people don't do anymore? Oh, the mirror all of a sudden. Yeah, I also won against Boros Convoke. That is something that happened. But still... The amount of times you're just straight up playing against Boros Control and just don't stand a freaking chance is kind of ridiculous. <gasps> if I can get that on the battlefield next turn with the Badlands Revival and I can and I can Oh my lord They just gave us the perfect freaking card just the perfect freaking card. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. No lie here. I'll freaking take it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is super good. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. Herbeck, okay. All right. Yeah, mill me some more. See if I care. <laughs> See if I care. <laughs> oh, that was... That was sad. Would have liked to have that. Not gonna lie. So we can destroy this. I think that that is all they have. Uh, I will be getting rid of my um, pillage the bog because I cannot get it back anyways. Pillage the bog. Restless Cottage. Tranquil frill back. Um, pay once, pay twice. And that's it. Uh, destroy artifact gain for a life. This gets destroyed. It's even a crime, so we're even getting a land out of this. Pretty darn beautiful. Pretty darn freaking beautiful. And uh, now I attack in. They want to double block this. That is fine with me. They don't. They don't want to double block it. Kind of understandable. Yo, Bobsy, thank you for the raid. Pokemon music intensifies. Welcome to all the raiders. Hmm, okay. Um, in response... I'm going to get rid of it. Committing a crime. Surveying here. Uh, I don't need that Rattless Cottage, to be honest. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. Yo, thanks. I am, I am very hungry. So it's uh, almost uh, 11 here. So 11 p.m. Yo, have a good night's sleep, my friend. And thank you for the raid. That is so kind of you. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, what are they even doing, you know? What are they even freaking doing? I'm just slamming in with everything. I don't even care. Submit zero. They have to block here. And they lose. I mean, hey, you know. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I like it. The criming is real. Criming a river. We're up against the double G moves. Opponents going first. Okay. All right. But I like our hand here. Oh, okay. Tiny Bones. Forsaken Miner. That is Tiny Bones light. Uh, let's bring in the Gulch. Maybe I should have put the Miner in here, but I think it's like not green enough, you know? We're more like mono green with extra steps. So, yeah. I wonder what they're doing. Are oh, they playing skeletons? Okay, all right. I think I'm just going with the Scrap George here. Making myself a three Hydra next turn. I think that's pretty good. Where is it? 11 in Germany. Okay. It doesn't matter too much to me. Forsaken Miner is back. Alrighty. I'm just doing this for two now. Because just in case we can block the Miner, we can just straight up exile it, which is pretty darn good. At least in my humblest of all opinions. I think if we go big enough here, we do have a chance. I hope no geese are incoming. Okay. I mean, this one little skeleton doesn't scare me too much. Block in here. And block in here. Because I'm getting treasures out of this, so I'm very happy with that. And I do have the armored scrap, George, for a reason. There's a very good reason why I have it. Oh, you have another one of those. Okay. What am I discarding? Hmm. I think it's just a swamp. Wait. Wait, what? I didn't get a chance to react to it? What? Okay, I need to judge on this. Why did I not get a chance to react on this? What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Why did I not get a chance to react to this? I wonder... Yo, Robinson, thank you for the follow! That was super weird to me. Absolutely super freaking weird to me. Is there anything in here they could take? Tranquil frill back. But if they do, I will just exile my own Tranquil Frill back. Super weird to me. Not gonna lie. I did not understand what just happened. Absolutely didn't understand. If anybody can explain it to me, thank you. So this is for four. I just, you know, super weird. I've been playing since uh, six hours now. Um, nice, thanks, appreciate it. I think I need to be super aggressive here. Yeehaw! Howdy. These cannot block, you know. Can exile whatever from my graveyard here. So, Mr. Moose, I still don't understand 
No, I don't think it's a bug. I think I missed something, but I don't know. And they scoop! They just scoop! Straight up scoop into the poop in here! Oh, get freaking out of here! Trying to defeat the master of Mono Black with Mono Black! Ain't gonna! Yeehaw! We're up against Hector! <gasps> Crimus! Yes, Crimus! I do have this crap, George. I can try. I can try! I can get no mama mail manners fetched. Oh, it's mono red. Look at that. Straight up mono red. At least we're going first, you know. That is already very good. And we can block with this for a little while. If I don't draw land here. Oh, okay. I will have to build a triumph my colossal rattle worm. <laughs> Never not have it. I did draw land here. I don't think this will help. I just don't think this, this will help. Well, welcome to the new set, my friend. Welcome to the new set. Where stuff like this is going to happen. 6-5 flash. Mm-mm. 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 Sadly, I have to plot this. I'm not attacking in. There might still be something dangerous coming down. Mm-mm. They tried, but they failed. Oh, okay, yeah. Why not just play another squeeze straight up? No worries here whatsoever. Nice, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, let's gain for a life. Get rid of the play with fire. Attack in with the 6-5 flash. I mean, what are they even doing here? You know, it's mono red. Well, what are you even doing, Hector? What are you even doing? Next turn, I just Path of Peril you and then what? And then freaking what? This can't even block. Oh, oh no, please, not the Kumano faces, Kaka. Please don't. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? You're dead, so. Okay, that is kind of very sad that you're doing this. Kind of very sad. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that is absolutely sad that you're doing that. I mean, this is still, you know, still a lot of damage coming to your face. Good game. Good game. They tried. They tried. But not even their double monster roll, which by the way was their third monster roll, could save them from a flash worm. Oh my god, this is ridiculously amazing. Ridiculously awesome. We're up against Horus. Opponent's going first again. Do I like this hand? Absolutely. freaking lutely Let's give him a howdy. And this. Okay, we're up against five color control, eh? Interesting. And they already have um, the... Um, they already have the thing. What's it called? The Leyline Binding. The red cowboy that makes dinosaurs? What? No. I never even knew such a thing existed. Right, here's some festering gulch for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Absolutely enjoy. Um, Restless Cottage is pretty good, I think. 
So, herd migration. A little migration never hurt nobody. I'm very scared of this deck though, because they play Sunfall. Depopulate, okay, alright. Kind of fine with me. The plot freaking thickens, my friends. The plot freaking thickens. Let us see what they're doing now. Are they ramping now? Angel. Man, I hate these attractor decks so much. Not even yoking. Not even freaking yoking. Those attractor decks are absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridic. 11 worms in standard, only one of them in blue? That is good to know. Okay. Wait, they have the Jetmere's Garden, so they still have the Farewell and stuff. So, what are you doing here, my friend? All I need is one Hydra, you know? There's the Ley Line Binding now. So let us see what they're doing. So here comes the um, Archangel of Wrath. Yup. Okay. Alright. I mean, sooner or later they will find their stupid attractor anyways. So does it really matter? I don't think it does. I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. It's a good deck. And as long as we have, like, triomes, people will play something like this. But there will be a point in time where it will just be gone, so... Yo, Iced Out, thank for the follow. There will be a point in time where this deck will just be freaking gone, so... Ooh, this is pretty nice. So if they don't have exactly Sunfall here, we're kind of happy. If they do, we're kind of saddy. Very saddy. Very, very saddy. So let us see. If they have Board Wipe, that is kind of alright with me. They have Sunfall. Here comes the Sunfall. Here comes the Sunfall, yes it is. Five mana Sunfall. Oh, it's a Traxa. That is not a Sunfall. Well, now they have the Sunfall. Now they freaking have it. Okay, so this is uh, 17 plus 4. I think we have an okay chance though. What did they get? Bit of triumph. Pay 3 life. Destroy you. They didn't even get the sunfall. They didn't even get the sunfall. Interesting. Do you think they will just be playing the other attracts are here? Hmm. Okay. I wonder, I ponder. Oh, they had it. Okay, they just had it. They just had it. Okay, it all comes down to our next freaking draw. All comes down to that. That was the most saddest excuse for a draw that I've ever seen. Uh, getting rid of your stupid attracts, huh? The most saddest excuse for a draw ever seen. Come on, give me the Hydra or something like this. 30% chance, come on. My favorite new card, I would say the Hydra in green. Also Smuggler's Surprise, pretty darn tasty. 
I mean, we still have a chance here. If we find one removal, yeah, the saddest cut down ever indeed. Uh, we have seen one bit of triumph. The herd migration. Okay. All right. You know, the problem was a sunfall. Problem was, like always, the freaking sunfall. So 18 minus 6 is 12. As long as they don't have another Archangel of Wrath, we do have a chance. If they do have exactly everything they need twice, we don't have a chance. And that is just a sad reality of things. We are still alive. But well, we will be dead to a freaking Archangel of Wrath. So do you have it? Of course they have it. What did you all expect? What, what did you all expect? Like, let's be honest. You, back there, you said something else? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Of course they had another Archangel of Wrath. Alrighty, we're up against Volubis. Like, this would have also been very cool. Um, I will keep this because aggro meta. Told ya. Freaking told ya. Okay, alright. We have to destroy this virtuoso straight up. Can't even wait. Of course I can wait. What's the worst that could happen? Whatever they target it with. We can still destroy it afterwards with the Path of Peril. I don't think we will be dead so straight up. But I don't know. <laughs> we might be. Nope. Okay, beautiful. This is the legacy of the Tron. Alright. They will hate what happens next. Do you all know what happens next? Oh, I know what happens next. Path of Peril. My favorite freaking game show. Yo, the Hydra is so good. The Hydra is so good. I'm happy for you, my friend. If I don't find anything here, that is pretty good. But let's wait for one more turn here. Do we have anything in here? No. Oh, Angel Fire Ignition. Well, that sucks. No block still. But they are kind of out of cards here now, you know? So, hey. So, hey, oh. Where is the music? Where is the music? Here's a path of peril for you, my friend. How do you like them potatoes? Oh, really? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Why did I attack in? I have no clue. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it now? And just not block now. Just pass the turn here. Play the Colossal Rattle Worm. Here's the Rattle Worm. Rattle Rattle. Ooh. Blossoming March. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted to see here. Two, four. I need one more land to be super happy. One more land and I will be very happy. What do you have here? We have another one of these little blessed defiances. Monster roll. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. But I now have the tyrant. So tough luck, my friend. And the thing is, I would just play another tyrant afterwards straight up. So toughest luckest. You need something really, really good. Really, really good. But isn't it? Oh, almost. Almost lethal. 
Here goes nothing. I mean, I'm gaining six life here. <laughs> so there goes a little man, little less than nothing, you know? Little freaking less than nothing. I mean, I don't think that they can turn this into a 10-10, you know? That is just my humblest of all opinions. Good game, my friend. Good freaking game. Oh, they even attacked in and scooped. They even attacked in and scooped. Man, this tyrant. Chef's kiss freaking delicious. Such a Timmy card. I love it. We're up against Joe Silent. My evil twin. Hmm. Yeah, this works. Yo, Krimus! Yes, Krimus. This works. Barely, but it does work. I can afford one turn of doing nothing. So, we might find an untapped land. Another evolved sleeper game. There's the untapped land I was hoping for. There is a scrap dirt. If they want to use a removal here on that, that is kind of fine with me. Kind of very much fine with me. And they do. Oh my lord. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and or lands is also pretty good. Let us see what they're doing here. Nothing. They're just slamming in. Liliana. Enough with the mysteries. Enough with the yammering. Um, I want these two. Thank you very much. And I will be getting rid of the uh, colossal rattle worm. These names, man. <laughs> These names. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yeah, that is still fine. Now I can get rid of the Liliana. And just pass the turn. And next turn I will have a Badlands Revival. Okay. Are you putting a counter on this? Okay. All right, that is kind of fine with me still. So we're taking four here. But then next turn we will reanimate our big stuff. So yeah, I am always hard at it, man. That is, that is what she said. Um, Yeah, let's survey here once more. Why the heck not? Reanimator it is. And this to my hand. Seems okay. So, you know what is really good against the Voltborn Tyrant? A Sheldred. A freaking Sheldred. You know what is really good with the Voltborn Tyrant? A Sheldred. A freaking Sheldred. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, opponent. Did you think you had a chance here? That is right, baby! Reading the card explains the card! You come into the house of Malone with your mono black deck and don't even read the cards? Meet me at the spaghetti cam. Today, at Maloney's Pizzeria. There is only weaklings left. Weaklings right. Trying to beat the master of mono black with mono black. And what happened? They did not read the card, and then they were sad. Sad. Mamma mia. Mamma. Mamma mia. Che buono. Release the Bracken. All right. <gasps> Krimus. Yes, Krimus. The hand is terrible, sadly. We have only green sources. This is way better. Way freaking better. Are we getting rid of the cutdown? Because we have, like, you know... Uh, let's do it like this. We have the Path of Peril. And we're up against... Uh, control. Okay. I see. I see and I don't like it. Yo, Cardcaster! 
Pokemon Music Intensifies. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. The plot thickens. I would say that all day long. Like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Yo, also all the raiders. There is like the raid command. Where is it? Raid. There it is. <clears throat> uh, cut down against this deck. Not really needed. I'm pretty darn certain that they have um, something that I don't want to see. Let's keep the pillage the bog for now. I really appreciate it. I hope you that your stream was amazing. I hope it was. All right, let's bring in the rattle worm now. If they have a, a counter spell, they have it. Nothing I can do about it. But it's a straight up every removal. Okay, I remember this person. Yes, it was pretty darn annoying. Pretty darn freaking annoying to play against. Okay, passing the turn here. I think they were the ones that... Uh, you had a really cool commander play stream? Yo! What did you play? What commander did you play? Jumping free cards? That is pretty cool. Alright, let's pillage the bog here. Um, because I want... This. To give my creature hexproof from their stupid wandering emperor. Oh, what a non-surprise. What a non-surprise. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's take these two. Alrighty. Okay. So that was exactly what I expected. <laughs> You played Gaddix with Acolyte of Bahamut? That sounds crazy. A small Dracoset? Only a small one? <clears throat> Only a very small Dracoset. Alrighty. Uh, let's survey. I don't need that land anymore. Here's a born Tyrant for you, my friend. Hope you have an answer to that now. I mean, of course they do. Of course they do. They have another Wandering Emperor in hand. That is their answer. That is their freaking answer in hand. But if they do, I don't really care about it. Or is it the Whale? It's literally straight up and not a wandering emperor. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. Um, pay three life. Do this. Yes, I want to target my own dude. Counter it. Go ahead. You do that, my friend. You go ahead and counter this. My vault-born tyrant was born in the vault. You merrily adapted it. Plotting here. See what we can find. See what we can find. I don't really want that. Ending the turn. So, my little friend. Fall art card in this set? Uh, no, this is the new cowboy set. Of course they have a sunfall here. What a non-surprise. Oh, that was a mistake, though, I think. That might have been a small freaking mistake, though, my friend. Um, how much mana do I have? Nine. So I can do this for eight. And the beautiful thing about this, it doesn't care about wandering freaking emperor. It really, really doesn't. Okay! All right, and uh, you know what? Let's just do this now. Um, I think I want another Hydra. Yes, thank you very much. So, freaking Sunfalls, yeah. Oh, Voltborn. Yeah, now I get it. What? Oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. It actually makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I was just not smart enough for that joke. I just weren't. Okay. Doing this for six so I can play around the counter spell. Oh! Oh, yeah, that wasn't too smart. Memory deluge, okay. But it took something straight up. Now that wasn't too smart, right? No, it weren't. No, it weren't. But this is pretty good. Remember your training. I wonder, I ponder what is in their hand. Play the land first. Badlands Revival getting you and you in my hand. In my tiny Maloney hand. Yeah, you gave me those treasures. You straight up gave them to me. So, uh, good luck, my friend. Release the freaking Bracken. What just happened? Um. Yo! What? Come on, what? Yeah, right. Yeah, freaking right. Yo, John Mullen, thank you so much for the, uh, for the Zedru membership. I really appreciate it. I mean, they're still dead, so now. Because I have this land. So, uh, let's give him a little yeehaw. And a little freaking uh, this one. And just attack their face. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you did. Screw your soundfall. Screw your soundfall. Thanks for destroying my Hydra, by the way. Thank you for destroying my Hydra. That was very kind of you, Bracken. Whatever that name means, that was very kind of you. At least... You played one new card. I tip my way to little hat to that. Chapeau. Sha to the po. We're up against Odyssey. What? What? Opponents going first here. I like the hand though. Even though we only have two lands, but we have the rattle worm that we can discard with a bit of triumph. So we can do stuff. Oh it's oh no, it's not aggro. Okay. Alright. I shall accept that. Giada! Very sorry about that. Very, very sorry about that. But I have to. Yo, Webby, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime! Yo, Viper, have a good night's sleep, my friend. Indeed, have the best night's sleep. Alrighty. If we draw one more land, it would be insanely awesome. If we don't, well, I mean, it is what it is. No land was found. But you know what? Let's just do this now. Get rid of Giada. Because why the heck not? Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. And this also makes this into a 6-6, six, six, which if we are up against, like, Ores of Angels or whatever... What? I'm utterly confused. Utterly freaking confused. Passing the turn now. Like, if we don't have to destroy the Vran, we're getting one more crime in. Well, if you ask me like that, though, I would just say good day to you, sir. I said good day. Um, yeah, let's bring in the crime gulch. Man, these names. <laughs> these names. <laughs> You're a little bit unlucky not finding lands here, are they now? A little bit ever so unlucky not finding lands here. Uh, I will be attacking in. I don't care about the desert now. Uh, this is a crime also, which will give me another desert. Pretty good, pretty good. And also one more damage here with this. Or three more damage. <laughs> which is, you know, three times one. I knew that. Siege Veterano. Interesting. Alright. I mean... What are they even doing here, you know? Ooh, that is pretty good, though. 
Uh, no, I don't want another land. I don't know what makes you think that, but I don't want another land. So what I could also do, you know, is a colossal rattle worm at the end of the- That is your certain death. Good game, my friend. Was it, though? Was it? I really don't know if it was a good game. But at least, we finally see another number. Let's go, baby! That was pretty cool. I left out some games. They were just stupid. Like, there were some games where we lost against Mono Red on turn 3. And there was nothing we could have done. Like, sometimes it'd be like that. You don't find your removal, you don't have your board wipe, it's turn 3, there, turn 4, you're already dead, so what you gonna do? It happens. It absolutely happens. And uh, yeah, if you want to see these kind of games, just go online, play for half an hour in the new meta. Uh, there is no new cards, there is only old decks. Sometimes you see a new deck and you're like, yay, we have a new deck and it's absolutely cool, but most of them are not. Just so you know, I'm warning you. So that you don't give your hopes up, up and then are, you know, sad if it doesn't happen. So yeah, the deck's absolutely amazing. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. If you don't know what to put in the comments, just put a little uh, Malone Born Tyrant. I would appreciate it very freaking much. There will be a live stream. Oh, was there a live stream today? Yes, if you see this, there was a live stream today. While you're watching this, I will be in uh, with my band hanging out. So yeah, this my microphone turned off. No, my microphone is on, thank goodness. I was just like, wait! <laughs> okay, I'm just messing with you. And a huge shout out to all of my patrons and members, and of course my sponsor, Ultimate Guard, right here. And remember, my friend, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see a beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow!